All right, welcome back to Pharmacist on Call, your one hour forum to get out all those burning questions. We're gonna get right back into your call. So we're gonna finish up with Norbriel here. Ma okay, ma'am, so uh, finish your call there. Okay, and as I was saying, I had fell and uh, it damaged my, what is it, sciatica? Sci sciatic, sciatic nerve? Yes. Okay. And then I have the pains from my butt cheeks all the way to my knees. Okay. Sometimes I can't hardly really walk. And I have congested heart failure. Yes, ma'am. And I have arthritis in my lower spine. Okay. I mean, they're giving me some pills, but really, the pills that I be buying across the counter seems to do better than the prescription meds. One thing, I'm trying to stop taking pain pills from oh. the doctor. Okay. You know, because they do have a lot of side effects. And I don't want to change what I'm taking, but I bought some arthritis pills. I bought that citrate, calcium, and magnesium. Yes, ma'am. Vitamin D3. Mm hmm. That omega 369 with the fish oil and Yes, ma'am. All very good. All of that stuff, you know, taking is going to kind of help. I mean, I'm 72, so... Okay, um, okay. The, the body's just going down. Yeah, the reason that those over-the-counter pills are working is because they are for joint pain and inflammation, and if you're taking narcotic pain medication, they're not really designed for that. So uh, where a lot of people get trapped with those pain medicines is they're trying to take more and more, but that, those medications aren't for that type of pain. So for your, your back pain and joint pain and your hips and your, your joints, those uh, heavy medications, your Percocets and Lortab, Norco, they're not designed for that. But something like what you're taking, probably ibuprofen or naproxen sodium, something like that, that those will work better than the narcotic pain medications. They, they do. Yes, ma'am. They really do. Now, I do take uh, Lortab, 7.5. Okay. I'm supposed to take one four times a day. But, like, in between, I have to take something else. So she told me not to take the Tylenol. Correct, because we don't want you to uh, cause an issue with your liver because the, the lower tab already has hydrocodone, I mean, uh, acetaminophen in it. And when you add that over the counter Tylenol, then you, you, you start probably getting close to that four gram per day limit. And after that, that's when you start causing damage to your liver. Well, what about the Aleve? The Aleve is fine. So actually, it's my favorite over the counter pain medicine. If my back is hurting, I, one a leave per day will will carry me all day. See, and that's what I do. Like if I take my pain pill, you know, say I, I take it, then maybe two hours later, I'll take me a, a leave. I only take one. I don't take two or nothing. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure you eat a little something. It can't be a little rough on an empty stomach. Before I put anything in my mouth, you know. Yes, ma'am. Because I know, when that, to me, like the ibuprofen, does that, that damage your liver? I ain't kidding. It. They do. Okay. In, in high doses. You know, but you also have to be careful with both of those medications if you if you have hypertension. So. And I have a glaucoma. Okay. <laughs> I it all. Okay. But, um, you was talking about the juice. Uh, yeah, the beetroot juice. So what it does is, for those people who are diabetic, uh, I, I don't have a definite on the mechanism, but if you ask me what my guess is, is it increases uh, sensitivity to insulin and increases the, the pancreas's ability to create its own and to kickstart it. So those are the two ways I think that the beetroot juice helps. Plus it supplies uh, organic nitrates and probably sodium bicarbonate to the pancreas, which is what it needs to do its thing. And hypertension, it opens up the blood vessels to make it easier for the blood to flow through so your heart doesn't have to beat as hard as it would if your vessels are really tight. So it opens up your vessels to make it easier for the heart to pump blood through. So therefore, it lowers your blood pressure. What about the cinnamon? Cinnamon is also good for diabetes and also a good anti-inflammatory. Really? Yeah, for joint pain. So my second caller, Linda, uh, she swears by cinnamon as well. She has a, an omelet that she makes with turmeric, cinnamon, and black pepper. The cinnamon also has anti-inflammatory properties to help with that joint pain. Okay, I take the, I get the capsules. Yes, ma'am. So yeah, as a diabetic, yeah, cinnamon you should be on. 
No, olive oil? Yes, ma'am. Good for your heart. Okay. Yes, yeah, a good source of fats. Yeah. Okay. Good source of healthy fats. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So now, back now, tell me, is it, oh, would you, is it beef roots or bee roots? B E E T. Beet root. So it's the juice that comes from the root of the beet. So people ask me, well, what does it taste like? It tastes like straight beets. So it's an acquired taste, but you'll love the results you get from it, which is why people <laughs> drink as much of it as they do. Okay, uh, can you quote a price on that? Ma'am? Uh, can you quote, do uh, Dr. Pruitt have it in his pharmacy? Yes, he does have it in his pharmacy. I've got about 17 bottles left, and they go quick, especially after one of these shows. Uh, a lot of my viewers who were in Southern Kentucky, and from uh, East and West Tennessee, they will come in and scoop up two or three bottles. They're out of town. So, uh, yeah, that's quick. Uh, 15 dollars That's not bad. 15 dollars Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, what kind of food do you eat? Uh, what kind of food do I eat? Yeah. Okay. Uh, because I take a lot of vitamins. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It won't be an issue. Uh, beet, beetroot juice is all natural. Okay. All right. All right. Appreciate your call, ma'am. No, I, I like the Aleve along with the hydrocodone once a day. Mm hmm Okay, so it's good. Because I really, uh, and then like with my insulin, I don't know, they've changed me so many times. And uh, like now, I take Lantis. 46 soon is at bedtime. I take no long, no, come along. I'm supposed to take 14 units plus three times a day. Mm -hmm. I'm on a sliding scale. Yes, ma'am. Now you, I'll probably have to get you to call me at the store because we're coming up on another commercial break. So when the uh, producer flashes the information for the store, give me a call tomorrow or actually just stop by and we'll talk about your insulin. So you'll be in with uh, Dr. Pruitt? I am Dr. Pruitt. I will be in tomorrow. Okay, I'm your mother's friend. What's your name? Not Brietta Lee. Yeah, how you doing? Oh, I'm blessed. Let her know that I lost my brother. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes ma'am. Actually, she just called in earlier. Yeah, I was looking at it. Over here, my <laughs> daughter's laying across the bed. Yeah, well, this come yeah. I said, that's my boy. Yeah. My daughter said, Mama, don't we know him? I said, yes. Well, yeah, just come in the store. I'll see y'all tomorrow then. Okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. All right. All righty. Bye-bye. That's fine. Uh -huh. All right, everyone. We'll be right back. <laughs> 